morning, everybody, and welcome to Most Precious Blood Parish, and a special welcome to many of you who are here for the first time. Every Christmas, we encounter the God of peace, the God of life, the God of love, the God of light. Today in the Gospel, Jesus seems to contradict himself by saying, I come to set fire on earth. What does he mean? Fire is a powerful and ambivalent gift. It can release heat, light, and energy. It can purify. It can also cause physical damage through burning. The fire that Jesus is speaking today is about God's love. Jesus has come to set the light of his own passion of love. And this fire, my friends, set demands with inner conflicts. The fire turns us upside down to see the lies, hatred, and contempt within oneself. Examples of inner conflict involve taking action, resolution, not to swear anymore, not to give middle finger when somebody cut us off on the highway, <laughs> and to come to Mass every Sunday, and especially on holy, holy, holy days of obligation. Because Jesus said, tells us, whoever eats my flesh, drinks my blood, will have life. No matter what happens to that person, if he or she eats my body, drinks my precious blood, will never suffer death at all. And to come regularly to confession. Some of us, some Catholics, take that sacrament for granted. They don't want to come to their parish priest because they don't want us to know. And yet, they go to their own doctors every single day, the same doctor. For example, especially the women. When you go, when you go to your doctor, you know the doc somebody else will take care of you. Will you accept that? No way, Jose. No. You will not accept that person. When you spent seven days without taking a shower, nobody will want to, to pass next to you. Even your husband, your spouse will not sleep next to you. You better take a shower before you come to bed. Imagine, after seven days, the body receives air, the sun, oxygen, and the body still smells. Imagine your soul. Imagine your soul after a few months, a few years without confession. Confession purifies the soul. Confession heals the soul. And that fire, my friends, burns. The more we get closer to that fire, the more we burn. And then there is a transformation happens inside of us. We are, we are different. We change. And then we become, we receive the truth. We become convicted to the truth, and we will speak the truth. 
Do you think people will listen to you? No. They will speak evil of you. They will despise you because of speaking the truth. For example, Prophet Jeremiah was sent to deliver a message to the people, a strong message. You think the people welcome him? No. Instead of listening to him, they mistreated him by throwing him into a cistern. You think they did not listen? It, is, it was Jeremiah? They didn't listen? No. They did not listen to God who sent Jeremiah. Why the king, the officials, did not listen to Jeremiah? Because of sin. Sin blinded their eyes, their perception. Their actions were sinful, and therefore, they renounce the God of love, the God who made the covenant with them, the God who delivered them from slavery, and then they will pay for it because they will lead into a snare. People will lay heavy burdens on their backs. People will ride over their heads. Their mouth will be muzzled. They will not be able to speak. And then they will go through fire, water, drought, and famine. This, those are the consequences when sin takes over. When truth is distorted, when all values weigh down, swept away, and life is taken for granted. You think they will not do that to you and to myself? Oh yes. Look at what they did to Jesus. They nailed him to the cross, the God of life. His disciples were killed. The church, they, perse they persecuted the church. Even today, the church is still persecuted in the U.S., understated, but persistently. My friends, these readings challenge us to stay away from sin so that we may not grow weary and lose heart when conflicts, when things come to us. For us to remain, to stay away from sin, we must be, our eyes must be fixed on Jesus. Our eyes must be fixed on Jesus intently. And then, to hear, to listen, the teachings of the Catholic Church. Even those you may not agree with, even those you may not agree with, listen to the teachings of the Church. And then you and I will be the seed of Christ planted on earth. Every time we meet somebody we tell him or her the truth, and Jesus will be, will come inside that person, and you will save that person. And then you and I will be the greatest evangelizers, because God lives in you and in me. Today, this gospel, the fire, will bring division in our families. Mothers will be against daughters. Father will, will be against the son. Mother-in-law will be against daughter-in-law because of the truth, because of the love, the passion of Jesus. If we are not passionate to the one who gives us life, 
Where can we go? What can we do? Because Jesus died for you and for me to set us free, to give us a new life. And that life, Jesus is asking you and me to pass it on to somebody else who may not know him. God bless you.